प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गाधार श्री वासरी गौर भक्त वृंदा एवरीबॉडी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बोलो श्री गुरुदेव की श्री प्रपार की जय श्री भक्ति वेदांत वामन गोसाई महाराज की जय तरी अग्रभाव तिथि महामहोत्सव की जय श्री गुरुदेव की जय तरी अतिर्भाव तिथि महामहोत्सव की जय गुरु परंपरा की जय सर्व संतन हरि भक्तन की जय जय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि so we are gathered here today to honor and celebrate a very auspicious day a very auspicious tatva on this day also it's very rare to find two personalities who are so close as we hear two bodies one atma and shri chitra kamu swami marsh three bodies one atma one soul and these personalities have appeared and disappeared taking shelter of each other's days so we can understand through this that they are one ultimately one mood one heart one jut one group in the spiritual world you could say and also and another important thing is that appearance and disappearance we should see to be one this is another thing we can understand from this day that one personality is appear uh, disappearing another personality is appearing the same day showing that guru tatva is ultimately one all gurus are manifestations empowered by lord nitananda lord baladev in our line shrimati radhika shri gogobind maharaj would say Shrimati Radhika, Guru is coming from her. If one, if Guru is in this Gaudiya line, generally speaking, they are empowered manifestations of the mercy of Shrimati Radhika. Kripa Kataksha Bhajanam, this merciful sidelong glance of Shrimati Radhika, cast upon this desolate world, this world abode of death, of suffering. She has glanced upon this world and mercifully. sent her two intimate associates shri guru dev and shri bhakti vedanta vamang goswami maharaj to this world to uplift the fallen conditioned souls to give them hope and a chance for the ultimate grace the ultimate perfection of life the attainment of the lotus feet of shri shri radha krishna jugal kishore the eternal youthful couple shri shri radha and shri lagovinda so they are our eternal friends who are our friends in this world many people nowadays facebook so many friends <laughs> but how many are going to lift you out of samsara and give you the eternal resting place at the lotus feet of shri radha krishna very rare you can count on your fingers probably how many people are your true very very close friends that you can count on if you're in a very dangerous situation you need a lot of help who are those friends who are going to really really help you but then you have to also think who can help you do they have the capacity even if they are your close friends are they going to be able to help you if you need 10 million dollars <laughs> someone doesn't have that how can they help something but this is still related to the body who is going to help your soul in this world there's so many so called friends and helpers who teach spirituality religiosity but most not most but many either they don't have capacity to give this pure love for god because they don't have it or they are misleading you there are many of those gurus 
who tell you to become one with God or you are God or merge into the impersonal light, Brahma Jyoti. But there's nothing more, as we understand, horrible. It's called spiritual suicide. Their so-called friends telling you to erase your existence. You are nothing. Buddhism. Oh, ultimately you are Shunyava. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Or you are God. We are God. We're all God. Everything is God. This world, everything is God. Then that means we're also zero. We lose our identity. We lose everything. Then it's suicide. But who is our true friend? Is that personality who is lifting us up out of Maya, out of illusion, out of suffering in this world, giving us the highest transcendental position. Highest position that is given by all the scriptures. All the scriptures concur and agree, showing that Krishna Prema Dhan, the wealth of Krishna Prem, is the ultimate goal of life. Who are those dear friends who have that wealth and can give it? Krishna appeared as Mahaprabhu and said, Prema Dhana Vina Vyarta Daridra Jivan Das Kurivetan More Deha Prema Dhan. Krishna showing that he himself also cannot give it. He appeared as Mahaprabhu and said, Without the wealth of prey, my life is useless. It is passing in vain. Oh, please give me. Who is he praying to? Mahaprabhu, as Krishna as Mahaprabhu is praying, Prem Dhanavina, without Prem, my life is void. He is God, but Krishna Prem he does not have. Mm-hmm. Who can give that Prem? Who has that highest Prem? Shimati Radhika. Who can give that Prem? Radhika's messengers, her emissaries, her ambassadors in this world. They can give that prem. Krishna prayed to the gopis. Svasadu krityam vibhudasuya. O gopis, you are the topmost sadhus. You have this wealth of prem. Please give me a drop of this prem. Mahaprabhu prayed, na prema gandosti. I don't even have a drop of prem. So the true friends in this world are those who give us this transcendental devotion, who give us a drop of this transcendental love and help us nourish and cultivate that love. So these are our true friends. Our true friends, you could, I said, you could count them on your fingers. Our true friends are Sri Guru. Sri Guru is our true friend. Pure, bona fide Guru. Mahaprabhu told Sanatana Goswami, Falgu Aryukta Badhar Armukta. Always be able to understand what is false and true. What is a conditioned soul? What is a liberated soul? Always understand there is a difference. So our true friends are those gurus who are the liberated souls. They are a true friend. And we should see that they are. Ultimately, many gurus come. They are all sent by Krishna to help lift us up according to our time, place, circumstance, our qualification. They are all lifting us up gradually. Therefore, we say guru is one. Mad guru, jagat guru, and yet guru, my gurudev. He is Jagat Guru. Because this is all Nityananda Shakti, all Shimati Radhika Shakti. But yet they are one specific personality in the spiritual world. It's very special. So, Guru is our dear friend. Who else is our dear friend? Sadhu is our dear friend. What is Sadhu? Sadhu is telling you, you must find Guru. You must chant Harinam. This world is all a mirage, or all a fantasy, a dream. True life, true purpose, true meaning is in the higher realm. You should go towards that higher realm. To go to that realm, you need someone who can carry you across this ocean of birth and death. A captain who can ferry you across this great ocean of material existence and take you to that divine realm. So Guru. Sadhu is arranging programs where devotees can come together and perform Hari Kirtan, Hari Gata. Sadhu. They are helping us come together. Gurudev would say, you should offer pranam to the person who has arranged the place for kirtan, kata. You should offer pranam to everyone who is coming together to hear. They are your friends. Who is speaking, more important, who is hearing. Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada would say, you are my vipad udharan bandhav. You are not my disciples, you are my very close friends. Vipad udharan bandhav. Lifting me out of a very dangerous situation in this world where we are all filled with existential fear. We are born in this world and we are trying to live our lives, but at every step there is danger. Every step we don't know. 
COVID is dangerous, but you don't know. You could be driving home and it's not even your fault. Something blindsides you. Someone runs a red light, you're driving along the bus. Who knows? It's very dangerous. We don't know. At every moment, there's danger. Life is hanging like a drop of water on the edge of a lotus petal. You see a lotus petal, it's curving down. And our life is on that, like a drop of water about to fall off. The Vaishnavas describe it like a glass, a thin glass jar. It's on the edge of a shelf and it's a little bit over the edge. And when people are walking around, it's moving a little bit, getting closer and closer to the edge. You don't know when it's going to fall off and smash. Danger. So that's why we need our friends in this world, the true friends. Sri Guru, Sadhu, Harinam, the holy name. The holy name is our true friend. Why? Krishna is playing in his own abode. He is Rasa Vigraha. He is the reservoir of pleasure, always absorbed in Madhurya Ras Lila, all the Sakya Ras, Vatsali Ras, always tasting Ras. But His holy name is always available to us. Krishna is so merciful, He sends His holy name, Madhuram, Madhuram, Etam, Mangalam, Mangalanam. The most sweet of all sweet things, the most auspicious of all auspicious things, that holy name. Krishna gives us His holy name. And by chanting that holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. By chanting that, we are with Him. If we are constantly chanting that holy name throughout our life, making that one with our heart, one with our Atma, then this is our true friend in this life, in this world. Dhanjan, Kalatra Sutta, wealth, possessions, family, friends, they are with us for some time. They can help us in this world, have some situation where we can have some stability and be able to do bhajan. But they're all going to disappear. Many lifetimes have passed in the Bhagavatam. So many examples are given. Chitraketu Maharaj and his son. Even in Mahapuru Lila, Srivas Pandit and his son left. Where are they going to go? When Mahapuru brought him back, he said, which father and which mother? I've had so many fathers and so many mothers. So many husbands, so many wives. I don't remember. They're all passing by like a dream. But Harinam is eternal. Harinam will never leave us. If we chant every day, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This holy name is our dear most friend. This holy name is transcendental. Nama Chintamani Krishna's Chaitanya Rasavigraha Purna Shuddha Nitya Mukta Vinatvam Nama Namina. Whenever we're in doubt, whenever we're afraid, just chant this Mahamantra. Yanname Vivasobhayan. Even fear personified runs in fear of the holy name. So whenever they are in fear and doubt, chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. This holy name is our true friend. This is real Guru is teaching us this. If real if Guru is not teaching you the glories of the holy name, then he is not your friend. He is an enemy in disguise. Without the holy name, our life is passing in vain. So these are our friends, Sri Guru, Sadhu, Harinam, Harikata, that person who is helping arrange and bringing us together to do kirtan, waking us up again and again every day. Every day we have to wake up. But in spiritual life also we have to wake up every day because Maya is all around us and we get engaged again by so many... We have to work. We have to maintain our lives, our families, everything. We have to do this. It's our dharma. And yet we can get so engrossed in that that we fall asleep spiritually, then devotees again wake us up. No, chant the holy names. Have prasadam, sadhu sangha, they are our friends, sadhus. They are our dear most friends. Anyone who is a sadhu, doesn't matter if family member or friend, they are family, they are sadhu. Friend, they are sadhu, if they are sadhu, then they are your dear most friend. Anyone who is encouraging you to do programs, have prasadam, kirtan, hadikita, they are your soul friend, your heart friend. So our very dear most friend, Srila Gurudev, Srila Bhaktivedanta Bhama Goswami Maharaj, both appeared and disappeared on this day. Like the rising and setting simultaneously of the sun. Generally the sun rises, later the sun sets. On this day the sun, and sun is rising and setting the same day. Our spiritual sons, Srila Gurudev, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayana Goswami Maharaj and 
Guru Padpat, Guru Maharaj, Shila Bhakti Vedanta, Vam Goswami Maharaj, simultaneously, showing that they are of the same mood, the same heart. Their glories are ananta, unlimited. We can only touch upon them and meditate upon those glories. Every day when we wake, we sing the names of our Gurudevs. Jaya Dwani. May you be victorious over my anarthas, my obstacles in my mind, everything holding me back from devotion, progressing in bhakti, chanting Harinam, whatever is holding me back. Jai Gurudev. Jai means victory. Oh Gurudev, please help me. Please. We want Gurudev by the sound vibration to march into our heart and kick out all anarthas. Then, like a... Why are we singing so many Jai Dwanis in the day? Morning time when we wake, Mangalarati, before, after, Arti, before, after, again and again. And why only many Jai Dwanis, not just one, not just Jai Gurudev, but all the Guru Parampara, all Nityananda associates, Mahabhu associates, Radhakrishna associates, all the holy places, Giraj, in Navadweep, in Braj, all of them. Why, like an army, is not a, one person? We want them one after another to march into our heart and be victorious over all bad anarthas, bad mentalities, uh, sinful impulses, offensive mentalities. Kick them all out with overwhelming force. All of them together, come inside my heart. Jai Shri Guru Dev, Jai Shri Guru Guranga Gandhari Kigri Hari Oh, please come inside my heart, kick out my anarthas. Oh, you are my dear friend. When we wake up in the morning, we pray to them. They are our friends. When we go to sleep, we pray to them. And we pray, please give me taste for Harinam. Harinam Ematra Chai. This is our only desire. Vaishnav Sevan or Harinam. Nirantar Kura Vaishnav Sagan, Ar Karvi, Krishna Sankirtan. Dui Karo Sigra Pave. These two things are most important. So Srila Gurudev came and he taught this. Srila Vam Goswami Maharaj came and they taught this. All Acharyas teach this. They all give their special. Vaishista, specialities, special flavors, teaching us how to progress, how to understand this in a proper way, how to uh, practice this in our lives. They all give their four different, it's like a diamond, you can see it from many different angles. Sri Gurudev and is giving us all these teachings. All our charges are giving us these teachings and then sadhus are helping us practice this in our life. That's why Guru is not just... Guru is there, Diksha Guru, Shiksha Guru, Bhajan Guru, Vartma Pradarshika Guru, all, everyone helping us, guiding us on the spiritual path. Srila Gurudev's glory is how can we even start, where to start, where to finish? I don't know. Hmm. Where to start, where to finish? One thing, maybe I won't speak so many Leelas because then it will go on and on and on all night. We'll hear from so many Vaishnavas. But it's also under, important to understand a little Tattva. Do not think that, oh, now Guru is dead and gone. This is not Vaishnav Siddhanta. Vaishnav Siddhanta is, just as Krishna is eternal, Guru is eternal. Real Guru is eternal. Many helpers are there in this world, like school teachers, many, shiksh, many guides, many Vaishnavas, many sadhus, they're helping us. But real Guru is eternal. Real, bona fide, eternal Guru He's eternal associate of Krishna. So to think that, oh, he is, now he is left, or even now he is 100, now he is 110, he's eternal. Now he is eternal. Before he was eternal, in the future he will be eternal. Past, present, and future for him, transcendental personalities, they don't have uh, this mundane uh, confines of this world in time. Na karma bandhanam janma vaishnavanam chadidite vishnu aruchadatva moksha mahur manishna. The Vaishnavas are not bound by the laws of karma. They are coming from the higher realm to help us in this world. When they depart, they are going to another realm to help jivas or they are entering Krishna's pastimes there. So we should not think, oh, Gurudev has disappeared. At the same time, he has appeared at a distance. This is incontrovertible. He has appeared at a distance. But we should understand it's as a further way to enhance our path in bhakti. Gurudev is doing this as a way for us to go further into bhakti and try to develop the moods of separation. Like we were singing, Jaya Nilo Premadana Karuna Prachur. Gurudev goes to appearing at a distance to help us further our viraha, our separation moods. Oh Gurudev, why? Because it's hard to have separation from Krishna if we haven't seen him directly. But we make relation with Gurudev 
very tight, Gurudev, so sweet, so kind, sing Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti, Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti, Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti, Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti. With his sweet kirtan, with his sweet kata, with his sweet exchanges, Gurudev built a relationship with us. And then appearing at a distance, he churns our hearts. What mood has developed? In physical presence, love is not so manifest. In, dis in disappearance, love can erupt. Like, why did Krishna come to be Mahaprabhu and experience so much separation for so many years in the Gambira? 18 years, day and night, lamenting, weeping, scratching his head on the walls in separation. Why? Because Krishna, he could not experience that so much as he is Krishna with the mood of Radhika together, but in separation mood. It's very astonishing. Radha and Krishna together experiencing Prem, Bilas, loving pastimes. And then they come together as Mahaprabhu and always in separation, even though they are one. So therefore we can understand Gurudev is never disappearing, he is always with us. And yet we are in gate feeling separation. This is Guru Bhakti. Gurudev is always, like in real separation, Radha Rani, when Krishna is far, then she's always seeing Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. She sees a cloud, Krishna, she runs to it. She sees a tamal tree, she embraces it. Everything reminds her of Krishna. She always has Krishna Spurti. This is real bhakti, uttama bhakti, to always have Bhagavad Darshan. So even though Gurudev has appeared at a distance, if we can cultivate separation, he will always be with us. He will appear in our dreams, he will appear before us. When we are chanting Harinam, we will see him, we will pray to him. He will always be interacting with us. Then they are, this is real topmost level disciple, always with Gurudev. Even though he is at a distance, he is always one with my heart. Gurudev Atatma. This is the, what we are trying to accomplish in this life. To achieve pure bhakti, oh, it's very difficult. But if we can achieve Guru Deva Tatma, make your heart one with Guru. Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya Chitei Te Kuriya Ekya Arna Kuriya Mahane As. I want nothing else but Sri Guru. Guru Dev's lotus words, may they be one with my heart. His instructions, may they be one with my heart. May I always meditate on Guru Dev. Every day I wake, may my day be filled with the glories of Guru Dev, the memories of Guru Dev, the endeavor to serve Sri Guru Dev. Then my life is successful. So we pray to him in this way, understanding the tattva that Guru Dev is transcendental. Just as Krishna is transcendental, Guru Dev, but Guru Dev is even more compassionate. Just like the holy names are even more compassionate than Krishna because it's there with us directly. Gurudev is Krishna's mercy. We may think, oh, I have to go find Krishna's mercy. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna's mercy? Gurudev is Krishna's mercy. Karuna Gana Vigraha. The very form of Krishna's mercy is Guru. So abandoning Gurudev, running here and there to find Bhagavan. Oh, where will you find Bhagavan? You will, oh, he, this person, this is Bhagavan, this is Bhagavan, this is Bhagavan, no Bhagavan. If you take shelter of Gurudev, Gurudev is Krishna's mercy, Gurudev will take you to Krishna's lotus feet. He will engage you in meditation on Krishna Leela. He will help you enter into Krishna Leela. Who is the greater friend than Srila Gurudev? Therefore we pray and meditate upon Srila Gurudev. Gurudev performed his transcendental pastimes in this world. To meditate upon those pastimes is supremely auspicious. To see Sri Guru is said even more auspicious than seeing Krishna directly. Vaikuntha Priya Darshanam. If you come into association of a pure devotee, a pure transcendental personality like Gurudev, it's even more fortunate than seeing God directly. Even Krishna is going to search after his devotees. Daitava Pache Pache. Krishna is running behind his devotees. And so if we want to find Krishna, find the devotees of Krishna, Krishna will be there. You want to find Krishna, find the devotees. Krishna will be with the devotees. You go separately to find Krishna, you won't find Krishna. Krishna is very hard to find. Hiranyakashipu couldn't find Krishna. When he was with Prahlad, then he found Krishna. <laughs> where is Krishna? I don't believe in any God. He said, where is God? The devotee said, he is everywhere. I can't see him. I can see him. It's not my fault. You can't see him. You have no bhakti. You can't see him. He is everywhere. Antar, Bahir, Yato Yato Ya, everywhere. So you find the devotee, take shelter of the devotee, sadhu sangha. Sangha means attachment. Make attachment to the lotus feet of Guru. Shri Guru charane rati eshe utamagati. If you develop attachment for the lotus feet of Guru, this leads you to the highest destination. There is nothing else required. In this one song, Shri Guru Charana Padma, all of bhakti is present. 
Gurudev is so glorious. All bhakti is with Sri Guru. Bhakti is only in the heart of the bhakta. Bhaktiya sanjayate bhakta. Bhakti is only coming from the pure devotee. You want to find bhakti separately, you can't find it. Only bhakti comes from bhakti, bhakti comes from the heart of the devotee. Krishna bhakti rasa bhavitamati. Kriyatam jati kutopi labhyate tatra loya makimulya maikdalam. Janma koti sukriterna labhyate. Not by millions and millions of lifetimes of your own practice will you ever get this bhakti. Only you must take shelter of that Rasik Vaishnav who is distributing this with an open heart. Abada karuna shindu khatiya muhan gare gare bule premami arvan. Nitananda, Gurudev, he opened that flood, the dam that was blocking, inhibiting the spread of bhakti and spread this devotion all over the world. We see that in the life of our Srila Gurudev. Tirelessly, up to 90 years of age, going place to place, town and village, everywhere, following the instructions of Mahaprabhu. Gare gare jao mangye bhiksha, go house to house and beg everyone. Bolo Krishna, Bhaja Krishna, Koro Krishna, Shiksha. Everywhere Gurudev went and he engaged everyone. Not only that, Bolo Radhe, <laughs> Bolo Radhe Radhe. Gurudev went everywhere. A very special Acharya, not only very special Acharya that could give this Radha Dasyam. Very special Acharya who can give us this highest glimpse of this attainment. Even the conception of this attainment is very rare. What do you speak of achieving it? This conception of the Gaudiya line of this position of the Kinkaris of Shrimati Radhika, this conception is so rarely given. Anarpita Chirinchirat. Millions and millions of, billions of years can pass and this conception cannot be found. But Gurudev gave us this clear conception. What is Braja Bhakti? What is Gopi Bhav? What is Radha Dasyam? What is Manjali Bhav? Very, very rare. Mahaprabhu himself came to taste this and yet Gurudev is freely distributing it to everyone. Krishna, God himself, came to this world to find what is this Manjali Bhav. And yet Gurudev is giving it everywhere. Unata Ujwala Rasam Swabhakti Shriyam Hari Purata Sundara Dyuti Kadam Basandipana Sada Hridaya Kandare Spuratu Va Satchinandana Gurudev is giving us this heart of Satchinandana Hridaya Gurudev is giving us this heart of Satchinandana God Hari this Unata Ujwala Ras But we are very unfortunate if we do not take this transcendental gem Na Anuraga We are very unfortunate but even if we do not feel qualified, what do our Vaishnavas teach us? Just develop a little bit of honor, a little bit of respect for the Brajabhasis, for the Brajadevis, for Krishna, for Radhika, for Guru. A little bit of respect. This develops so much transcendental sukriti, piety, merits, spiritual bank balance. Merits means your spiritual bank balance just by developing a little bit of honor. Oh, Jai Shri Gurudev, offering pranam, like Krishna said. Mam Namas Guru, offer pranam. Madhyaji, Mam Namaskuru. Enough, a little bit of honor. Then this develops so much. Take prasad, hear Harikata, and develop respect for the Brajabhasis, and then this can lead you forward. Tanama Anukirtanam. Again and again perform this kirtam. Satatam kirtayantoyam. Yatantascha dridavrata. This is our vrat, a very firm vrat, always engaged in kirtan. Hari kirtan, but Guru kirtan also. Vaishnav kirtan also. If we glorify the Vaishnav, we glorify Guru, then Krishna will be so pleased. Krishna Naam Gane Bhai, Radha Naam Gane. Should we chant Krishna's names, Radha's names? Both. But also Guru and Vaishnavas. Because that will please Radha Krishna together. If we chant Krishna, Radha Rani is pleased. We chant Radha, Krishna is pleased. We chant Guru and Vaishnavas glories, Radha Krishna both pleased simultaneously. Why? They see, oh, the jivas in this world are glorifying our dear associates who we sent to help them. I se- Radha will think, I sent my dear associate to this world and they are glorifying them honoring their days like today we are here even though there's so many restrictions we see how courageous but you know our devotees are here bringing us together to glorify our Gurudev despite all odds and all difficulties why? and now Radha Krishna they must be so happy seeing this that oh they are honoring despite all difficulties they are coming together and honoring our Guru Bhargava so I pray for everyone's um, blessings. That I'm very feeling very honored and fortunate that Sadhu Sangha has mercifully um, pulled me here, and I'm able to participate in a little way at least. And so I'm feeling very fortunate, and always remembering and praying to Gurudev. Without the Vaishnavas, 
also, you know, we are like a Mayavadi. If we only think Guru, 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 but no Vaishnavas, then we're also another kind of Mayavadi. Mm. Many kinds of Mayavadi. Mm. Only Krishna, only God, Mayavadi. No, many, there's many groups in India, oh, we don't follow Radharani or Braj Bas, it's only Krishna, Mayavadi. Mm. Oh, I only follow Guru, Guru, Guru. Who are the devotees? I don't know the devotees. Then also another kind of Mayavadi. Mm. The devotees are our first friends. Why? Because they're like, are on our level. Oh, what are you doing? Wake up, chant Harinam, come to program, have, take prasadam. They are a friend. You know, sometimes your st- teacher is not able to help you as much as your schoolmate. Mm. Right? Your teacher, yo, he's telling me all this stuff. Who's going to listen? But your friend tells you, oh, you got to do better. Oh, you got to, what are you going to do in your life? Why don't you study? You know, if that, your schoolmate is doing that to you. He's your true friend. And if your schoolmate is telling you, oh, go and do drugs and do this and that, then he's an enemy. So your friends, the devotees, are helping you do this bhakti. They are your first friends, your first protection against maya. Therefore, we should always have honor and love and respect. We see Gurudev appears in the hearts of all his followers and disciples. Shiksha or Diksha, whoever has devotion, remembrance and praise to Gurudev, Gurudev comes in their heart. Munimana tosmi. Yang pravardhantam anupetam apetakritan vaipaya no virharakatara ajuhavapu. Yet, munamana tosmi, that he is in the heart of all living entities. Gurudev is present there. So we pray to always be able to see him in our hearts, and we see him in the hearts of all his followers and disciples. Gurudev is there. So we pray like this on this day. Pancha kapatri prasakripasana virasabhitaran pavane